Hello, welcome to this month's issue of the Home Cooking Newsletter. My name is Dan Oaks, and this is my lovely wife, Kathy, who's the awesome cook, and she's going to show us how to make, what is it, a soup today? Tortilla soup. Oh! <laughs> Tortilla soup? <laughs> my family loves this soup, and it is super, super easy. Wait oh, super easy? Nice a... pun. Oh! <laughs> it's super easy. It's super soup. Well, let's get super in and easy. figure out how to soup. do it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have you open those cans for me. Okay. We're going to chop Sounds an onion. Good. We'll put an onion in it. And you can just take chicken. I'm talking. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in. You can take chicken right from the freezer. I use the tender one. You can just use any kind of breast meat. If you don't like breast meat, you could probably use any kind of meat you want, really. But you can put it in frozen, and it cooks in about four or five hours. It's super... Hmm. Well, that's easy. You're, it's super, super easy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over that line. I love soups. <laughs> Ask Reese, Andy, when we go on trips and stuff and travel together, he commented last time because I always choose to get a soup. I don't know why. I just love it. So... I can attest to that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, good. Well, this is a yummy one. Tortilla soup is one of my favorites. You put avocado in this, by the way. I don't see any avocado. So. I don't, but you garnish it. You can. I love avocado. I don't know why. It's just uh, so good. We're gonna open these cans, sweetie. Oh, you're so good at it. Yeah, huh? Boom! Ah, nailed it. So while you're doing that, I've been playing racquetball in the glove. Like uh, stains my hand. You oh, get gross. that, Josh? I know. I washed. I showered. I washed it. I put this solution on, and it's still like stained. Honey, so if you forgot to wash your hands, you could have. No, I didn't. You don't have I to didn't. cover it. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna throw onion in there. Yeah, I got like seventy-four hundred steps in today. Andy playing racquetball. Can you believe it? It's like, yeah. <laughs> Andy plays with me. Josh needs to come out. We got, what, Jonesy, uh, Ben from the office plays. I play sometimes, but he plays me left-handed. Because <laughs> I'm pretty bad. It's fun. <laughs> but I love it. Fun. It is so I fun. Know, huh? yeah. Okay, this is cilantro. And we're just going to cut this up. doesn't have to be cut up super fine. Ooh, I love it when it's got the cilantro in the soup. Like, this and tortilla if, soup is so good. I was going to say, if you love it, add more. If you don't like it so much, add a little... It makes it does add a great flavor to the soup. So add as much as you Ooh, want. I can smell it. I probably here. add about a cup. With you chopping it, I can maybe smell it. three quarters of a cup. I don't know. It smells so good. You can be flexible with that. So onions. Did you grab the salt and pepper from yeah, the you bet. cupboard? Well, it's for some right there. Oh, you mean the? Oh, uh, I want the big stuff. Oh, gotcha. And now this is. Um, I like the petite diced tomatoes. We're just gonna pour a can in there. That a cilantro big smells so good. Two small cans. Cover it. This is chicken broth. You want to measure it or something like that? Or you get it some pork in your head. Oh, and then you know, you want a big strong man to open the salsa. This is green salsa, and oh, I good. have now used four different. This is my fourth, so we'll let you know. But I just immediately used at least three different kinds, and they're all delicious. So I couldn't even recommend because they're all just you really good. Them? Yeah, dump them in. Oh man. Oh. I might have to have you open mine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what your problem is. <laughs> Seriously? Mine are pretty hard. <laughs> you want these dumped in there? Dump them in. Really? This That's is a just lot. a dump and go soup. I mean, really? This is a lot of salsa here. here. If you've got a can opener, this you big can one make too? this soup. Dump it in. That's sweet. I'm doubling it because I like, I you need more. This is two cans of corn. Ooh, yum. Oh, gosh. Corn. Dripping it. So you're not draining it though, huh? No, we Just, want that juice. Oh, really? Okay. I'll Ooh. throw this stuff out for you, okay, sweetie? Now we're going to stir it around and get it all in place a little before we slap the lid on it. Mmm. Well, it's looking good. It's looking real good. Now, we're going to let it cook like this. Oh, I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Sorry. Oh, and some cumin. Cumin's magic for this one. It's about a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half of cumin. Oh, really? When the weather gets cooler like this, you put something like this on, 
in a crock pot and let it simmer all day. Oh, it's so nice to have. I know, huh? Salt, pepper. So you did about a teaspoon, maybe a little more of the pepper. Or something like that. A teaspoon of each of those, or a little more if you want. The salsa is nice and flavored, so it's easy. It's uh, a it's an easy one to flavor <coughs> because the salsa at brings such a really good flavor to it. Okay. Now I'm going to cover it and we're going to let it cook like this for about four hours until the chicken, you know, will come apart. And then at that point, well, we'll take you to that point. I'm just going to shred the chicken and add the beans. What do you think, sweetie? Is it ready to go? It's ready. It's been simmering here, cooking for how long? Four hours? Yeah, four or five hours. You can't really, well, you could overcook it, but you can let it cook all day if you want. Or you can just let it cook for like four or five hours till the chicken is done. And so now I'm going to have you, while I'm shredding the chicken, the first thing I do is I add the beans and then I shred the chickens and let, uh, chicken and the chickens. The chickens. <laughs> then I start shredding the chicken and that way they're pretty much all warmed up at the same time. So I'm just going to fish out some chicken. It's so tender at this point, it, you can just slice it with a fork. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. But. So what do we got here? Black beans? You want me to dump these in there? Black beans. Drain them and dump them. Pretty much drained, I think. Uh, don't eat too much liquid, you're going to make it an ugly color. I don't oh. mind it, but for the photo shoot, I want, <laughs> I want it to be pretty. Well, uh, how come you don't cook the beans in, I wonder, and you do the beans last? Is there a reason? They just don't need it. Oh, really? Let's see, because they just if need you to get heat, heat, heat it up a little bit. They're already softened and stuff, huh? Well, this sounds good. So we've been waiting here all day, the camera crew and everything for this. So. It smells good in here, I'm not going to lie. No. <laughs> you can slice this pretty if you want. I just kind of tear at it. This is a no mess, simple simple meal. If you can see, I didn't dirty really any dishes but the crock pot. So it's a simple, you dump it in. I don't, I don't full. measure it. We maximize the capacity of that. Huh? I do. If, they, <laughs> if they'd only make a bigger crock pot, I guess I could use my roasting pan. Oh, yeah, that's and, good, yeah. <laughs> but my family will go through this. I'm telling you, Carson will have four bowls of this. <laughs> He loves I'll probably it. have a couple myself. There's something about the beans and the corn together and the onions. And... It is a delicious uh, combination. Yum. I'm guessing this bowl is for us here. This bowl is for us. Well, I'm going to help out because now. I'm nothing if I'm not helpful around here. So. And you played a good game of racquetball. We all know That's right. that you need some nutrition now. <laughs> Absolutely. Even yeah. though you need to go play a little more because you... I beat you opening the jar, so. <laughs> That's because I played so much racquetball. I, I never tired. win at racquetball, so I had to win at something. <laughs> okay. There's our soup, and when you, I serve it. Oh, She's I'm got a memory like an elephant. She never lets me live anything down. For you guys, it probably <laughs> seems like just 30 seconds ago we said that. That was like four or five hours ago that we had that conversation. <laughs> See, what do you got? Sour cream there, Sour huh? cream. I serve it with sour cream, cheese, and chips. Oh, yeah. Cheese and chips. Where's the chips? You want me to grab them? Yes, they're in the back, in the basket, you know. Oh, oh the other pantry. Oh. I mix it all in. I need to do that. Can you open that one? <laughs> <laughs> it is a hard one. Yeah. No. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Don't worry, honey, I got okay, it. Okay, thanks, Rudy. It was tiring. <laughs> You've got some strips you can throw them in here. I actually lost like five games. The guy who's like 55 years old. But he's really good. <laughs> I get a little chip in my bite, a little Ooh. chicken, a little beans. Ooh, yum. Mm. 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 The smell did not so disappoint. Good. I know, that's so <laughs> yummy.
Well, thank you for sharing that with us. And thank you for joining us. And we'll see you again next month.